Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, on another episode here at the Cusp of Freedom. Um, for those of you who haven't tuned into one of these episodes, we will try to give you our perspective on why and how we became digital nomads, so you can see how you can resonate and apply it in your life. Do mind, do take into consideration that we all come from different backgrounds and experiences. So everything you hear on this podcast, you have to take with a grain of salt. And um, and yeah, so without further ado, we'll jump straight into it. Um, I have a very special friend and a guest on this show today, and I will let him introduce himself so he can tell you his name, what he does as a digital nomad, and, um, and we'll, we'll take it off from there. Well, my name is Ruben. I, uh, I am a software developer. Uh, we develop products for the legal tech industry. Okay. And yeah, so basically that. So Ruben is, um, is a software dev working in um, developing very technical software for tech companies in the legal, on, on the legal side of things. So Ruben, becoming a software engineer, let's, let's take a step back. When you were a kid growing up, um, was software engineering a thing in your vision? Like what did you want to become? What did you want to pursue as a kid? Well, the, the real thing is that I'm not a software engineer. Okay. I learned how to code in YouTube. Okay. I, 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 uh, my, uh, I have a degree in business administration and in uh, history. Okay. But I, I never studied that. I always liked computers. Nice. Uh, but then um, I had some friends and they were like, hey man, I think that you could code. And I was like, I suppose that everybody like, oh no, that have to be super hard and everything. And um, in 2019, I started to watch some YouTube videos and then I learned JavaScript, which is, I think is a good language to start with or Python. Um, I don't know how it was coding 40 years ago, but now it's... It's pretty easy. Well, I think that is pretty achievable for everybody. You know, nice, like nice. it's not, it's not. You don't need to be a genius. I suppose that before with the binary or yes, yes. or the there are some languages that I, my understanding are, are really hard. Yes. Like C and C plus plus. I don't C know sharp, any, yeah. yeah, I don't know anything of that, but um, but the thing is that I do have problems. Like uh, I, I I used to work in in uh, the corporative uh, world and then I saw a lot of different problems that could use automatizations. Oh, so okay. I, so when I started to code, I already, I was uh, focused in, in yeah. a specific problem. For, for me, I think that is the, the best way to code is to first have problems. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so. that's what code was invented for, right? Or oh, that's why we have this AI so we can solve yeah, exactly, exactly. You can do. You can solve a lot of problems with code. A lot of problems, and uh, and is uh, I always say to everybody that about coding is you. I mean, humans, we are good uh, being creatives, but there. Are, I mean, we are really bad repeating tasks. Mm, we are fast. really slow, and we are really bad. We don't like it, and uh, we don't have good memory either. Mm. So the combination between computers and ours is perfect. We, we lose a lot of efficiency. Because the, because the computers are super quick and, and they store a lot of information. They are really stupid, but we are creative, so the combination see, is good. So it seems like the computer was developed for our lack of memory and our lack of yeah, being efficient speed. in repetitive tasks. Agreed. So now the it has the memory, it has the automation. Put it together, it does what we don't do well, so that we're better or more efficient in society. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so growing up as a kid, I heard that you 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 have a uh, a degree in business and history. Um, did you always have like a longing to learn history when you were growing up, or what made you pursue those um, those 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 technicalities in, in college? Uh, whatever. The truth is that everything was really accidental. I I I was one of those per people that didn't have a plan. I mean, I was not, uh, unfortunately, I was not uh, like a person that knew what it wants. Mm -hmm. I, I knew what I didn't want, okay. but I didn't know what I wanted. So I started business administration, which I hate. I don't, <laughs> I don't like it at all. Do I'm sorry, recommend. I'm sorry. I'm so no, 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 I mean, I will not, I will not say I don't recommend it. I just hate it, okay. but uh, but then I was while I was studying business administration um, with my father. We have, um, I mean, we we have a really good relationship, and and he really liked history. Since I was really small, we he he tried to to tell me about history, 
And then I, I uh, because I was bored, I was like, well, I'm going to study this. It's really easy to study history. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to be like, you just read some books. And uh, um, the, the thing is that when I, when I start to study history, I realize that when you study history, you don't, you don't study for knowledge of history. You study investigation of history. Interesting. Which is interesting because uh, you study, you start to use a lot of uh, a lot of information from anthropology, from philosophy, which I really like, uh, linguistics. So you start to use all that knowledge besides history, and the people that study this uh, type of fields. I mean, the conversations are just the best. I mean, like it's it's just uh, because you can go as deep as you want. Uh, most of the people that study this kind of stuff are messed up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's, it's super interesting to talk to everybody. Obviously, when you study this kind of stuff, it's more left wing. Uh, I, I, until up and until that, thing? yeah, up until that point, I didn't have any left wing like um, interaction. Yeah. Uh, and then being able to meet people that have that give me another side of the story. Um, so, so yeah, for me, it was just, I, I knew that I didn't want to pursue like a career in history. I just was bored. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, and it ended up being one of the best decisions that I made because it was, um, for me, it was, uh, it gave me a lot of perspective of, yeah, of everything. Like, uh, you don't, you know, this is not as. This is not the worst that it has been, and it's not it's the, the best worst. that it has been. Mm -hmm. It's just what it is, and uh, facts, you just facts. Uh, chill. And, facts, uh, facts. <laughs> I can I can, I can <laughs> relate, relate to that. Um, so you you pursued history and business administration for your passion, and like I guess you were bored, and you were you looking for like challenges or. Just looking to, to occupy your mind. No, I was just trying to... It's, uh, I would like to say that it was like I had this plan and all these pursuits, but it was not like that. It was just that I was a person that I, I didn't know. I, I didn't figure it out the world young. Yeah. For me, it was really complicated to understand <laughs> what am I supposed to do. And, uh, and then... Everything may start to com come together, and all the knowledge. The the, the reality is that uh, uh, I hope that most people learn how to do this younger, because if you are focused when you are younger and you know what your goal is, yep. is better. Uh, don't waste time. Um, but then, well, I it was not hard. I mean, to study business administration and history, mm -hmm. it didn't require a lot of brain power. No, um, but it was at a time where I w I read most of the things that I have read was on that time, uh, philosophy spe specifically, which was really important for me. Okay. Um, and then I was working while I was studying. So um, I just wanted to keep my mind occupied. I didn't know what I wanted. And then I started to work in this uh, multinational company. Again, I will, I, I mean, some people will say like, because they are amazing. In my case it was f luck, I suppose, because it was, I just finished this, uh, my business administration and uh, this company came and uh, I just uh, put my CV yeah. and they hired me in a really low position. And then I, well, I start to, to, to climb to, the ladder. To climb the ladder. Uh, I, there I realized that uh, uh, you might not be as, as is, maybe you don't, you're, you don't need to be, I mean, uh, it's better that you are super smart, but it's really important if you are not as smart, you work a lot okay. and hard. And if you work hard, it will compensate. And I think that that was my case. I, 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 I think my, my, if I have to take a skill of mine is working hard. Working hard. I mean, yeah. I just put the hours. That's it's, facts. That's facts, man. You know. I think I think even like within like the, what separates most people, even those that are talented, amongst those that aren't, is the work that you put in. Mm -hmm. like, I can be the most talented person, but if I don't put in the work, yeah. um, I'm wasting that potential. Yeah. yeah. Um, so after college, you uh, you work for this company, 
And are you still with the same company or have you shifted? No, no, no. The thing uh, is that uh, this was, uh, I worked with them between 2012 to 2018. And uh, after I finished working with that company, which was like, obviously, a, it was a company of 15,000 employees. Yeah. So it gave me a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of knowledge of what was happening, a lot of knowledge of what are the problems inside the companies. Uh, companies, uh, when they are that big, they just waste money. Yes, when they, they, do. they The companies start to grow, they just hire because they, they want to hire and everything is fixed with hiring. I was in charge uh, of the databases uh, in a particular area and the archives which funny enough didn't have anything to do with history, but because of my, of my background in history, <laughs> I tend to, to give a lot, of, a lot of importance to, to, the, to yeah. the source of everything that comes after. So for example, you give me a report, mm, I, I don't care about the report, wow. tell me where are this, what is the source? And then that will be an important question because a lot of people make decisions based on, on bad data. Yes. Um, so in 2015, I thought that I was going to leave that company because the project finished. It was, uh, they were building a refinery. Okay. And, uh, and I thought that I was going out, but they kept me for like three more years. But I made my company in 2015 with another guy. Okay. But I was not working with my company. I just uh, built it. And, um, wow, well. that's a really cool thing that you just started the business without really adding value to it right away. But just I like, just I just, just started uh, when I start. I was just thinking like. I am seeing a lot of, uh, for example, uh, this is uh, documents. Uh, it, it, start, it didn't start because I, in that time I didn't know how to code. So at that time, what I do, I, I knew was that most of the processes that had problem was document involvement. Mm -hmm. So I just, uh, my company was going to fix that. It was uh, document orientated. We just have to digitalize a lot of documents, classify them, make databases with that information, get the metadata from there, and then basically from there you can build whatever you want. Yeah. But then uh, I didn't work for the company, for my business. For We had some deals, but I was not working with them because I was working with this other company. Once I leave this company in 2018, so uh, yeah. I just decided that I was not going to apply for any other job. Nice. I was just going to try with company. my company. And uh, I just, uh, with my partner, we just break up and then I, just, I keep the company for myself. Um, on that particular time, I start to, because of like, uh, I saw something, I saw some data and I saw that a company was making, in my opinion, a mistake in the way that they handle the, the process of documents. Yeah. And I called the owner and I was like, I think that you are struggling. And the person was like, <laughs> yes, I am. So, what do you, so I started to work with these guys, and they are lawyers. I didn't know anything yeah, about well, law yeah. up until that point. And, um, but, but since I was uh, young, I, I think that one of the things that I'm good is that I'm good breaking down processes. Okay. So if you give me a process, it doesn't matter the field. I will try to, yeah, to draw it. Yeah, you're an like, architect. Yeah, to architect the, the process. So we start to work with these guys, uh, but actually they are women, the, 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 two, the two owners of that, uh, the law firm, they are women. And, um, and they have big clients in Colombia. Um, I'm from Colombia, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, doing that in there. Yeah, and... Uh, and um, so they start to, they, they, they had like, uh, they managed like, on that point, they managed 7,000 processes, uh, labor processes, uh, which is really complicated because in the, I don't know if you know anything about uh, litigation, but litigation is not fast. Yeah, it's very slow. So because it's a slow, it's a problem because you have to keep tracking data which is not going to execute the next trigger immediately. Right. It's going to pass months. Oh, yes. So, but if you have m thousands of processes, that can become a huge process problem. 
So we start to develop different stuff to, to, to manage documents and all that. And in 2019, this was pure luck too. I was just, <laughs> it was luck <laughs> because uh, I was, uh, after I left the company, like six months later, and the, I mean, a lot of people have been telling me like, you have the mind to code, you can code. And I found this guy in YouTube, and I understood. I mean, uh, for me, it was just, I, I, it took me like four months. Yeah. And then I was just like, okay, I grabbed this, the, 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 yeah. like the basics for me. And then I started to build programs. Oh, now I see the code is <laughs> the worst. <laughs> This is awful, it's inefficient, but it's a to code. Yeah. And because, um, because I was not trying to make, I was not trying to make something beautiful. I was trying to fix problems in real life. Yeah. So because I have so much data and I saw so much processes going on. So I just have to try to fix. And I was really good in Excel. So it gave me an idea and with formulas and all that. So I was just like, so I will do this in Excel. So how am I going to do it in code? code? And then obviously, uh, uh, when you start to code, you eventually figure it out that it's like the, the power of this is just, it's, it depends on your imagination. Right, right. And, um, and then I have been developing products and uh, some people think that I am an engineer and I'm, I am not. I just, oh my God. I just saw some videos on YouTube and I can code. And, it's, and I always tell to everybody, and especially in my country, like it's not that hard. It just requires a little bit of time, patient, yes. which is a really nice thing to have because computers, <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. They will just uh, explode. And um, now we have, like, a, I start my, my business with, a, with another person. Now we are six. Um, we, we have... Uh, uh, because well, our, our clients are mainly big companies in Colombia, because they are because we the type of products that we develop are really specific for big companies. Okay. So companies that have more than three thousand employees. Okay. And uh, and the three main products that we have are for are for uh, labor. Uh, is legal tech. Yeah. So it's legal. It's, it tried to avoid litigation in in one problem that is uh, called solidarity, which I'm not going to expand because it doesn't matter. And the other thing is like from health. And the other program that we have for, for is for litigators. But mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> basically, we have been developed this um, infrastructure framework, you want, you call it like that. I don't know how it's called. But anyway, the thing that we can build other programs on top of that. Um, yeah, it have been it have been really really it have been a, a really nice journey for me, because Aww. I mean for me everything is novelty you know like when I start to see like that I could use the the AP, the like the lang change or like the chat GPT API and I was like what <laughs> <laughs> so it just made everything easier yeah 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 so so yeah it's it's basically that is a summary of. Of a lot of years, I'm I'm 38. I am not the youngest that you're gonna find doing the nomadic life. Most yeah, of the people that is doing this is in, up until the 30, 30, 30 something. You know, I don't think age has like much to do with it. I think it's more of like where you come from, you know, and in the journey. I think I think that's what's most important because you know, through your background and where you come from in your journey, you're able to teach more through the experiences that you share with me, right? Mm -hmm. Or with anybody else. So, um, yeah, I admire it a lot. I think your story is unique. Um, and I don't think, I don't, I don't think luck plays as much of a part um, as you might, you know, humbly say. I think that throughout your journey, you, you always had an open mind to, to, you know, to always learn and stuff like that. So, for example, you could have saw that coding thing, but if you didn't have that, if you didn't just do it, right, you would have never, you would yeah. have never been here, right? But the fact that you just did it means that you had, you're, you're one of those people that, you know, you want to use as many tools as possible yeah. to, to get ahead and to, to do your best, right? So um, kudos to you for that, man. A lot of people would have, uh, like I said, dropped out, not even pursued any projects, 
And a lot of people don't want to solve problems. I think you're also a problem solver because, like you said, you worked at that company, you saw the processes that they were going through, the problems they were facing, and, and you told yourself that you could fix it when you started that company without even doing anything, right? Jesus Christ, if, every, if, any, if everybody could just do that, you know what I mean? Like, just to see the problem, start the business for it, it doesn't have to make money at first, and then just, you know, keep going. Like, I think, um, yeah, that's special, man. That's really special. Yeah, and, uh, and, the, and the, one of the things that I find key is, like, uh, problems are a, f are a place. I mean, like, because if you, if you start to see problems in real life, yes, that's the sign. Then, then, it's, then it's great because you, you will use your imagination to try to fix them. Some you will not be able to fix, but maybe some you will be able to fix and create products, by the way, which is the nice. most important thing. Like, uh, I, I don't love my programs. <laughs> I want to create products and the market is going to decide if yeah. it's good or not. But you have to keep creating products. Uh, products right, are come right. from. You have to identify programs, problems. Right, right, right. And uh, I hear everybody like, uh, like for example, I, I was. I always tell this story not for for saying like uh, this was impressive, but I think that it was important. Like I'm not a lawyer, but once I start to to work with lawyers, I start to see like they have a bunch. I mean, they have read. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. <laughs> my opinion, they have write some of the best algorithms that you will ever find oh, yeah. in their books, but it's, it's written like in a Bible. Uh -huh. So it's really boring <laughs> for a lot of people. Yeah. So I start to read these books and make a flow, a flow, a flow chart. <laughs> and uh, it took me like, I think I have done in, up until now like 500 flow charts. Wow. But it's just because they have, because it's there. It's you just, but Yeah, I mean, you just have to, to put it in our language, yeah. which is like to code. But, uh, but that happened with everything. I have, made, I have done programs for, for betting companies. I have done programs for engineers. And everybody, I mean, like, you just listen. Listen and go with humbleness and maybe... And, the fun thing is that you will learn, uh, you can, in the worst scenario, you will have a topic to use in another conversation, Facts. you know? Facts. But, uh, uh, but in the best scenario, you will create a product. Facts. But you just have to hear. Man, I Listen. wish, God, I wish everybody listens to this episode and understands the regurgity like, of this guy. Um, so I'm, I'm interested, right? With the uh, with the process that you went from 2018, I think that's when you said you created a company without any value. Um, For 15, I created, but I start. I didn't. I didn't work because 2018. Yeah. Okay. So, what were the challenges that you faced within those first three years, from 2015 to 2018, to create value? The thing is that because I was working you in couldn't another work company, on the, you know, no, yeah, and I, and I didn't need the money. So I okay. was for me it was not a problem. Okay. So let's say like it start really in 2018. 2018. Okay. So you come back to your company, you have time to expand. Like yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. The challenges in my in my because I am not a salesman. Actually, that is one thing that um, I have a uh, like let's cross our fingers. But uh, in in this year, in the end, the project, and I think that I'm gonna manage to do it. I'm gonna hire uh, a salesperson to take care of that. It's really important that you understand that you cannot do anyth everything in your company. Also, it's important to know that you require resources, so you just need to produce products that, because yeah. that's what, I'm, I'm talking about my experience. Yeah. So in my experience, I had to create all these products that it was penny products, like not a <laughs> lot of, not a lot of money produced, yeah. but it may allow me to, to, to save some and then hire uh, more people uh, to, to create better products. To create better products, but now I am in that stage where I already think that I have products that I can scale. I I hope <laughs> it will, it's not my decision, so, yeah. but now I need a, a salesperson, which is which I believe that is you have to. I learn from somebody that I really respect that you don't have to know everything. You yeah. just have to know 
who can do the thing that you don't know. Yeah, about. I heard that from, uh, yeah. what's the guy from, that has Virgin, um, the billionaire. He was like, you don't, you know, his, his, his like whole thing is like, you, you develop the vision, you make it very clear and concise, and then you give it to wherever it can. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, for example, I, I, I and, and it's not that I, I don't think that I'm a great coder, but I like it. So, okay, I will do that, and I like to design. Okay, I will do that. But I, I, I don't know how to reach the, 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 yeah, exactly. So, okay, so I have, I have some clients, but now I need to get more clients. Get more clients. I need to scale it. So in order to do that, well, you need help. And you need to, to know that you are as good as your team. Mm. I mean, it's, it's not about you. I mean, your team is key. Like, yes. you just have to... Now, if you're a freela freelancer, because that is another way to work, like, you just work for projects, which is also good. To learn, um, yeah. yeah. I decided I want to create my own business, and I want to... And I hope that it grows, and it can create... A, a work for other people and it create a, a success for, for myself while I'm traveling, obviously, because that is what <laughs> I want to do. Cherry uh, on top of the cake. Yeah, exactly. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it was, it was uh, the, cha the most challenging part for me. I, I think I talk too much. So to, to answer your question, the challenge, the biggest challenge was uh, figure it out what was the type of business that I want to have? Like, for example, the decision that I made in one point was, so what am I going to do? Am I going to sell uh, um, programs or am I going to sell subscriptions? Which sounds like a stupid question, but it's really important of, for the design of your products. Because if you're going to sell programs, you, you will... copyright. Exactly. But mm, not, yeah, but that, but also find a client is a lot harder in my experience because you will have to find somebody that have 100,000 US uh, to pay for a program, which mm -hmm. from a subscription, you can sell the same program for a bunch of people. So I decided that I was going to sell subscriptions. So that was a thing because I had, I like to talk to people because I, I like to, especially with the thing that I don't know, which are a lot, I like to take as much and as you can. Uh, yeah. So I, it took me a while to figure out that. And the other thing is like uh, to understand that because um, I was working alone at the beginning. I was just myself and I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not an engineer or anything. So I just have my little thing and all that. And then hiring. That is the other thing that is, you, that is true. And I, I have heard a lot of these uh, people that are big CEOs, that they take like 30% of their time hiring, it is true. I mean, you have to put the time and the resources, uh, uh, especially if you, in my case, with my money, so I, I don't want to waste it. It's really, really important to, to hire the proper people. In the case of the programmers, it's more, in my, my experience, it's easier for me because I am also a programmer, so I know when somebody knows or yeah. doesn't know. But for example, to hire a, a, the salesperson, is, is, um, I don't hire <laughs> because, hey, hello, what do you think? No, right, I, I just, I will, I will go to the process and I will take a lot of time because once you hire a person, uh, you want to make sure that that person stays for a long time, give you, obviously, uh, all the things that you expect. So that is, that is the other thing that you, in my experience, you have to pay attention. And the other thing is, I mean, don't fall in love with your product. Just put it out there. Mm. And the, the first product that I was building, I was just with these massive ideas. And like, oh, no, I'm going to do this program. And <laughs> it's going to take me like five years to develop that shit. <laughs> just no. Do something, put it in the market, profit, and then develop some other. Th I mean, you have to put things in the market because the market is going to tell you where to go. Facts. It's not, well, some, I mean, the most brilliant minds will tell me like, no, you, you can uh, tell the market what to do. Yeah, true. I mean, you true, true. maybe you can create a product that is uh, like- It's so good that everybody yeah, has to do that. Everybody <laughs> have to use it. Yeah, true <laughs> too. But in my, in my experience, it was more just like, you have to let, I mean, you have to put it out there. You have to, to, to start to 
to see the market criticize your work because it's the best way to learn. Yes. And, uh, and so you did the, that. Did you do that when you did that? How did you how did you respond? Uh, but at the beginning, I was not a good programmer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was uh, it was a small program. Um, it was. Uh, I mean, it have been good. I mean, I, uh, I um, uh, up until now, I haven't, I have never lose a client. It have oh, been, wow. yeah. So it, they have always stayed. So that is a good sign. But the thing is that that was their part. Like, how? I mean, you, you as, especially when you are, you own something, you tend to believe that. That somebody's gonna take this. <laughs> I have to nobody cares. No, I mean like nobody cares. And <laughs> for example, for me it was a long time like I and to come to to in peace with me, like I cannot do everything. I need to hire another person to help me in some part that I'm not good at. And it's not bad to to go to, there yeah, and yeah. say like I it's not that I am the worst, I just I am not a salesperson. I don't have the time actually. So, uh, but even if I had the time, I'm not the person suited for it. I always dress like this. <laughs> this is not the person that is gonna sell you. Sell anything. me this pen. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I I, dre I always dress like with this. Like I don't look like the proper <laughs> that is gonna sell to big company, you know. Oh, yeah. But uh, but you have to understand that about yourself. It's not bad. So those things, I think that it was uh, the most important, like recruiting. Uh, know know the type of uh, product that you want to sell, and the other thing is that I understand that you, Can't do in anything. one point, uh, you cannot do everything. Those three have been the biggest uh, issues. Uh, issues for me, and uh, and uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, as 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 motivated as as always, uh, and, and and always with the wake up. Early, go to bed late, trying to achieve your goals. And if maybe I'm lucky enough, I will um, make uh, the success happen. If not, uh, I'll try it. I'll, I'll, I'll try it and I'll try it and I'll try it until the very end. Because That's tough, it's bro. Been, it's you know, a lot of people will not be able. I feel like a lot, most people won't be able to relate to that. Um, but I wish, I wish they could. I wish they can, man. I wish. Aye. <laughs> I think um, I think it takes a lot of tenacity to be have your mindset. I'm not exactly sure how you develop this mindset. Um, have you always been? Um, no. Trying to show you when when did this click? Is this like? I think I, I think um, I mean I my best friend my father. I mean, he's like my my biggest. Uh, he ha he have a big influence in me. Tough as I mean, like really like strict. Uh, um, I didn't have a close relationship with him until I, up until I was like thirteen years old. Yeah. And uh, and what happened with him is like they they he break up with my mom, mm -hmm. uh, and I stayed with him. And uh, and I had to learn because we were we didn't have any money on that time. We, he lost his businesses. It was the story of most, most families that goes up and down. That moment in time, uh, our family uh, had a really bad uh, economic crash, and for me that was key. Not to have, and uh, and seeing. Uh, yes, I could. Uh, yes, I mean, like, and seeing that Struggle. the friends, yeah, the struggles, the friends, who are the real friends, uh, that was an important moment for me in that particular time, because I was really young, I was a teenager, so see that everybody goes away when you don't have, really? and also, yeah, because it's, it's normal, but it, because when you have, well, everybody like your friend, but when you don't have, <laughs> why would you be my friend? So and then I don't I don't feel sour for that, but I just I just saw it and I, I and I and I saw that we didn't have a lot to have good food, so I I learned how to eat everything, and I learned that I had to do my own things, and I I, and I realized that I couldn't waste 
Yeah. I couldn't waste it. And uh, I learned how to be organized because uh, my father is like uh, annoying with that, but it was good. I mean, I didn't understand it at that time, but for me now, and I talk to him and I tell him like, I really appreciate that he gave me discipline. the best two things that I believe I have is discipline and organization. That's it. I am. I don't. I don't think that I am a smart person. I. But I do think that I am really, really disciplined. Like I. I just. I will put yeah, the time and everything. And that was on that time when I was like in that moment where, where uh, I mean, like I. I learned a lot of important things about life in that moment. And then I. After that, I was. I. I became really responsible because you have to be more responsible. Um, uh, I, I also, well, s saw that sometimes uh, I saw an engineer, my father is a civil engineer, I saw a civil engineer selling things in the street uh, because he didn't have anything. So I, I, I always say to myself, yeah, yeah. yeah, I always say to myself, like, okay, so if, if, for whatever reason, I lost everything, I will go, I, I will rise again. I will rise again. I will do whatever it takes. I will right. waiter, I will clean floors. I don't care. Facts. And it doesn't matter if I'm 50. Facts. Because I saw it. I saw my father <laughs> yeah, did. did it. I mean, he did it. So for me, it was an, uh, 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 an amazing thing to see how you put your ego. Because, uh, yes, no, no. And then, Put the time. I mean, stop talking about shit. Do it. Fine. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And uh, and uh, <laughs> I think that that was uh, that was. Um, uh, but I don't think that before thirteen I was like that. Interesting. So, uh, you, are you glad those moments happened? Do you think that um, people need to go through really hard times like that in order to realize that you know they have to play life with a chip on their shoulder? I think so. Yeah. Uh, but. I, I believe that, for example, if like uh, my father, my father is uh, is the son of a of a, a uh, how do you call a person from the street? I, mean, I don't know. How do you call a person that doesn't have a house? A homeless person. Homeless person yeah. yeah, my grandfather was a homeless person. So my dad, uh, he was able to study, but he was really poor. So he was able to study civil engineer and have some things. Mm -hmm. Now I was never I was never close to starvation. So I had my father have like uh, his bar was here because mm -hmm. it was easy to overcome a homeless person. But then I saw my father do did some things that were, in my opinion, really interesting. Uh, so. I'm trying to meet the bar. Yeah, yeah, but he is still, he was not the highest bar, you know. But then I find that today, in today's day, well, a lot of people have, like, uh, my father is, uh, he have three houses, <laughs> four cars, uh, uh, he did two masters, and then you are the son, and then you have a high, really hard bar. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you don't have, like, you, you know that you have to go up, uh, you, you, you have to at least be yeah, that, be that way, yeah. but you don't have the, the, the motivation that make them do that. Yeah, you don't have those hard times. Yes, I mean, like, uh, uh, every time that my father told me this story when he was young, and, uh, and, uh, and that he, he, my father was an alcoholic, he stopped drinking, like, um, 12 years ago, but uh, he was an alcoholic, and uh, he started to drink like he was, when he was 12. And, um, and see that he was living in this little town and go to the big city, study, and don't have anything to eat, don't limited. know a lot, poor, and then start to make money. And then, like, so... In perspective, yes. you're kind of meeting the bar, you know? Yes, right? exactly. But also, it's, it's just like you need the challenge. Like, for me, i 100% sure that if my mother and my mother didn't break up... You would not be here. No, I will not be this person. Man, dude, this is no. insane. I will not be this person. No, wow, no, wow, wow, no wow. way, no way. 
No way, because, because, because it put me in a situation. Because, for example, I my father is a, a, a difficult person, and then uh, he was a person that uh, that it was. But I learned how to deal with different difficult people. I learned um, that uh, that that is not easy. It doesn't supposed to be easy. So it's kind of it's kind of the same thing. I learned. I learned it the same way, but I, what I learned is like nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. You know, <laughs> you figure that out. Nobody's nobody's gonna help. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah, for me, I think it was it was it was that um, that time uh, because it gave me this like um, I will I I refuse to quit. I refused and I refused to complain. No, I will not. Because what am I going to complain? All right, Ruben, uh, quick question. So for most of our audience watching this, don't have any, I don't think they have anywhere as close as the background that you come from or um, the challenges that you went through um, growing up. I mean, of course, we all have ch challenges, but um, some more than others, of course. Um, what, do you, what would you say to someone that doesn't have a chip on their shoulder or having gone through these excruciating times to be the best um, version of themselves? Uh, what would you say to them to, um, like, is there another way or another thing that they can do to instill habits, you know, whatever it is that need to instill in order to be their best version? I think that, uh, and this, this I, I believe, uh, you have to find all the metaphors that as a species we have developed, uh, a metaphor of, of life. So, for example, a sport. If you don't have a struggles, it's for you, like you, your family give you everything. And go to the gym and <laughs> put yourself in pain and a lot of pain and suffer. And then because, because exercise or, or run, run for 10 miles <laughs> and then you, feel, you will feel miserable. And then you will start to feel, because it's a metaphor of life. Sports is a metaphor of life. D or in the case that you don't like sports, maybe do things, do things that are hard because. But I will, uh, I will always advise sports. It's just because the sport is uh, the sports as the religion have. I mean, you will f you will live a life through the the pain that caused you. I'm not talking about the sports like I go one hour to the gym. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about go and have a half marathon. Or, or run every day, or um, do things that uh, like uh, put you in a position that you have to to uh, struggle. You know, like you don't feel comfortable. You you don't wanna feel comfortable. In my opinion, because everybody is trying to be happy, and I understand <laughs> that ha be happy is nice, but you have to put yourself in a position where you uh, struggle. Because if not, well, you will. I don't think that this will be easy for you to find motivation. Maybe you, in your brain you will start to link, like for example, you start to <sighs> run and then you, and running for example, I like to run. So running is, is, uh, is really cool because you feel so miserable <laughs> after one point, not really, so miserable. But when you finished, in the next day, I don't know if it did happen to everybody that does exercise, but it happened to me. Like the next day when I go to a problem that I'm, for example, I'm calling and I'm facing something that I find for me is complicated, and I, but I did that yesterday. I just, I just run that. I know I can do this. And do not go to the cell phone, like stop watching. Face uh, the problem, yeah. yeah. I mean like stop, stop uh, giving yourself like rewards. You, you don't desert them. Mm. And, uh, and punish yourself. I mean, like, be your best critic. That's really tough. Yeah, that's really tough. Yeah, I'm, but I'm guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> I I think that it's important that you don't feel that you are good, that you are there yet. There yet. Yeah, it's facts. important. Facts. And it's not to put because some people will will take it to the side where it's a. Um, where it's uh, like uh, having low self-esteem, is not that. It's just that you have to tell yourself, I mean, like, you I can do better. better. I can do more. I can do better. And if not, 
you will try every day and maybe one day you will not be again exports are good because you see the results so quick I mean it's so fast because if you run like for example 15 minutes maybe in one month you will run 30 minutes in some other things in your life it's not like that I mean it will take you longer Long, yeah. but uh, but just start with, with, with things that, uh, that challenge you. And, uh, and the other thing, like go, go with people that don't always tell you like, you're the best. Mm. No, no, you have to go to some people that- no, You have to surround yourself with people that are better than you. Yeah, exactly. And then you uh, listen, my Lord, I mean, you have to listen. Man, it sounds very simple. You make it sound simple. But why are we, um, why are we here? I don't know. Yeah, it sounds very simple for people to just do their best and um, put themselves in these uncomfortable situations so they can grow as much as possible. Um, but, you know, I think, I think at, at, in my perspective, I think the reason why people don't do that as much is because people um, don't, don't understand the domino effect of them being their best selves. Um, people don't see how, how it benefits not just them and not just, like, their life experience, but also the life experiences of their neighbors. Um, but I personally think that if people had a better perspective on how, you know, just by simply being your best self, it, it affects, you know, it has a, a domino effect on, on the life and experience of other people. Um, maybe more people will be doing their best or trying to do their best every day. Um, but yeah, I think you, you've gotten most of your, most of your story out here. Um, let's, let's, let's dive a little bit about, because we discussed your, your business, what you do and stuff. Let's dive a little bit about um, how long have you been traveling and working and are there challenges um, that you think people should look out for when they, um, when they travel and work? Um, well, like uh, I have been traveling and working since 2018, basically. Um, I have done it before, but it was when I really started. Uh, in the last year, it have been more more time, maybe. Um, I think that the I don't really see a challenge. No challenge. It's, Every, it's all fun. Everything is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, it's like coding. You know, like maybe twenty years ago it was hard. Yeah, but, but now you just go to Airbnb. Flag, 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 flag. I don't, that, I, don't know I, how, I don't know how I can <laughs> see. How. I mean, the limit in in this regard is your wallet. That yeah. is the limit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see another limit. Facts, I mean, facts. Like you can. Um, well, the, the, uh, for me it's not a problem, but uh, there are some people that. I don't think that this type of life yeah. should, I mean, is for everybody. I mean, some people like more, and that is good. It's not bad to try to, to stay in a place and have like the... Um, your routine? Yeah, your yeah the routines. Yeah. Um, it's not, that is not bad. Do the, you think the mindset is what says it was what's most important? Of the people that I meet here in the this The people that work in travel, the mindset, you think... So like you said, you can, you can. The, the, the thing that the, the, the people that, are, the, see, if somebody hear this, I don't think that anybody's going to hear it. <laughs> but if somebody hear it, uh, up until this point, the truth is that a lot of people don't know that we talked before. And I told you this, and I really believe it. In these trips, I met my people. But that doesn't mean that it's everybody's people. Facts. So I, I just, I, I just love the humbleness of most of the people. Look, for example, you. You are, <laughs> you are a great oh. example. I mean, like, I met you, you say, immediately. It was not like we uh, took, it took like three months. It was like, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Let's exchange number. You start to tell me about what you did. You invite me to your podcast. Uh, then we have something. I mean, like, and then you have been telling me about your business. I can share some things about mine. Maybe we can come out with a, Maybe when we are talking, came up with a solution of your, or you see some problems or solutions of your business, and I see some of mine. Uh, not, nobody is like uh, bitching around all the time, like uh, yeah, complaining. <laughs> no, everybody is just like nice. In, but for me, but some people might find us weird. You know, like why? Why do you have to be 
traveling all the time. <laughs> but <laughs> but that is also okay. I don't my my only issue is when somebody I don't have a problem if you don't travel or if you travel. Mm -hmm. I have a problem if you don't travel and you want to travel. Mm. And you travel and you don't want to travel. I have a problem with that. <laughs> because you have a choice. Yes. I mean, if you have a choice, I mean, travel is so easy now, really. I mean, like, um, it's just go into internet half an hour and then you will book whatever you want to book, depending on your budget, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's basically that. I just, I just don't, I don't think it's hard. It depends of, your, for, for example, you have to understand that for, for where, uh, what we do, my life is in a suitcase okay. and in a bag, which is my <laughs> office. <laughs> yes. That's it. Yes. So if you like to have things, well, maybe this is not the, your lifestyle, yeah. you know, because <laughs> if you want to have a house and all that, well, it's not, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, sometimes you are going to go to some places that are not as nice as they look in the picture, <laughs> but yes. I'm cool with it, but some people is not cool with it. So the thing is, again, you just do you you do you that is yeah you do, i mean you, you just summarize it perfect do just you do you, do you and, uh, and 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 stop planning just do don't it. plan it do it again i understand that there are some people that can't afford it yeah but, but that is another thing you know like but uh, if you can and you want but to but if you can and you want to. And you want to, but you execute. Do it. <laughs> execute it, yeah. Yeah. So Man, it's it. been a it's been an immense pleasure. Do you have um for those who, for those watching this, um, whenever they watch this, do you have any like life philosophy that you live by? Or any like um last or, or any keyword advice you would wanna leave the audience with for someone that wants to become like you or better one day? Um well just Breathe a lot, have good friends. You don't have to have a lot, but the ones that you have, have them. Love your family, and that's pretty much it. And do you? <laughs> and do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, been a, it's been an immense pleasure, Ruben. Man. Thank you so much for being part of this podcast. Hey. Hopefully, we um, we get to run this back in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. I let you guys talk. <laughs>